All right, next up on the list is what I refer to as vocal elements, which are uh, bending, vibrato, hammer-ons, pull-offs, trills, and slides. These are the things that really make the guitar sing like a voice does, and I just wanna talk about the technique of these real quick. Um, you can study these in-depthly with other courses and things like that, but I do wanna make sure that you're thinking about how important these are to your execution of your playing. It's not just about learning 50 licks, okay? It's the way you play those licks that makes all the difference. That's what makes a great guitar great, uh, player great, you know what I mean? So, let's start with bending first. Bending is when you take a string and you bend it from its standard stock position, the string is just sitting here, and you're bending it up to another note. You're not just bending it for no reason, you're bending to something. So there are really, f well, let's, let's go with three now. There are three main bends that we wanna learn. A half step bend, a whole step bend, I guess a three fret bend is fine, and then what we refer to as a blues bend. So four bends we'll talk about. So, and again, we don't have a scale set to start using these with right now, but we're just gonna talk about them as they are. So we're gonna take a look at this, this five right here. And then we're gonna use this seven as the root that we're going to ultimately go to, because we're in the key of eight. So there's five. We're gonna do our bending on five, and then if we need to, we're gonna anchor to that seven right there. So, first things first, we're gonna learn how to bend this five up a whole step, which means we're gonna make that five sound like a seven. So what I'm gonna do is put my third finger on that five, put my middle finger on the same string in front of it, and put my first finger on the same string in front of it. I'm gonna grab on, and I'm gonna turn my wrist like this. I'm gonna bend that sucker up in the air until I hear that sound. So I can bend it up, I can bring it back down. Now I have a course just on bending because there's just so many things that you can talk about. But I want you to think about the accuracy of being able to bend it up to the pitch that you want. You're turning your wrist and you're pushing. It's not done like this. You're turning your wrist. Your forearm and your wrist are the ones doing all the work as you're bending. So a bend can be done anywhere. It's just when you're bending a whole step, it means you're bending two frets higher. So if you're on a, a 10, you want an, a 12. You're gonna bend it up, sorry. You're gonna bend it up until you hear that whole step, okay? A half step is the same thing, only we're bending it one fret. So it's a little less. We're bending that five up to a six. So you gotta use your ear. You gotta use your feel in your ear to, to find those, okay? A step and a half is harder. You gotta go way up there. See, it's way up there. So you gotta push that sucker up there. So half step, whole step, and three fret bend are pretty self-explanatory. You just need to try and work on the accuracy of the bend, how it feels, and the distance that you're bending it. So it doesn't sound like you know, you're know you killing a cat or something, or talking to space aliens or something like that. You wanna make sure that it sounds smooth when you play. Now again, we're not to scales yet, but if I was playing and I went, um, I'm gonna go back into the key of A here. Okay, so if I was going. See, all that bending stuff is really important to make it sound authentic. The last kind of bend is what we refer to as a blues bend. Now I'm gonna put my first finger back on that same note, which is the fifth fret of the third string. And what a blues bend is, is you're just gonna twist right at the very end, you're gonna pull that string towards the floor, and you're gonna bend it just slightly uh, to give it a human feel. I don't wanna do it too early, because if I do it too early, it's just gonna sound like I'm out of tune. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna play the note, and then right before I leave, I'm gonna twist that, and then I'm gonna play my root, that, that seventh fret. Okay, so that's the four bends that I want you to start trying to work on, okay? Now again, there's a lot of stuff coming. These are all fundamentals, so I've got courses out there that talk about fundamentals for as long as you need, but I just wanna make sure we've got these summarized. So those are, are the first ones. Next one we're gonna talk about is the vibrato, which is what I just did right here. Go to the seventh fret of the fourth string, put your third finger on there, put your middle finger in front of it and your first finger in front of that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna rock it towards the floor just a little bit. You can go upward if you want, but I, I find it more comfortable to, to rock towards the floor. 
And what you want to do is create a nice even wave like this. Okay, you don't want it to be erratic like that. You want it to be nice and smooth. You can make it as wide as you want. You can make it as fast or slow as you want. But keep it smooth. Okay, usually the slower the better. It gives it a real soulful and sensual kind of kind of feel. You see. So that's what a vibrato is. And you could do a vibrato with any finger. Like with this note, you could practice, for instance, putting your pinky on that seventh fret. Third finger. Middle finger. First finger. Get comfortable being able to do it with all four fingers is really, really important. Hammer-ons are when you pick a note and you go higher. So let's go back to the fifth fret of the third string. A hammer-on, let's take the third finger and let's smack it onto the seventh fret like this. Anytime you go higher and you're not picking the next note, it's a hammer-on. A pull-off is just the opposite. It's when you pluck this seven and you want to go back to the five, you flick that finger. You don't just lift it up, but you literally flick that string like it's a guitar, like this finger's a pick. You're picking the string with that finger. And when you do hammer-ons and pull-offs sequentially, like this... It's called a trill. So hammer-ons, pull-offs, and trills. And then the last technique is sliding. Learning how to slide from... Let's just take that five again. Let's slide up to the seven. We're sliding from seven back to five. Now again, you could slide on any string, from any fret to any fret, but that's how sliding works, is you gotta keep the pressure down so the note keeps ringing, the string keeps vibrating. You can use any finger. Again, those will be situational. As you keep going through here, there's gonna be tons of opportunity to do all of these things. So those are the vocal elements that I want you to practice.